Well, hello and a warm welcome from the gateway to some of the most picturesque scenery anywhere in England. We're at the Vitality Stadium. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Bournemouth up against West Ham United. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. And a look at the West Ham 11. The experienced Lukasz Fabianski stands between the posts. Declan Rice starts alongside Tomasz Socek in the centre of midfield. And the striker today is Mikel Antonio. And so the match is underway. Smith. And here now is Lewis Cook. And Adam Smith on the ball. Philip Billing. Billing. Dominic Solanke. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. And a bad pass it was. Philip Billing. That's a very fine piece of tackling. He might be able to carve something out. Said Benrama. Not a pass that lacks quality. Soranke. Now with Ryan Christie. What a good place to win it back and let's see what it leads to. Mopping up defensively. Soranke. Well, visionary passing. He had to score, and he does. Well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough. Still here, and the ball is moving again. Nayef Aguer. This is for Jay Cheatham. Hello, Jay. Celebrating your birthday. Happy birthday, Jay. From all of Here is family. Zuma. Really well played pass. Rice. Just 
made sure nothing came of that. Cresswell. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, as expected, Bournemouth have had more of the ball so far. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. And in the event, just a talking to, but could easily have seen yellow. Cresswell. On to Ben Rachma. Firing it in. Oh, he saved it well. Now sending it in and clearing it away. And he's keen on cutting in. Well, giving it a go in a bid to haul them back into this one. Well, they're knocking at the door here, but they need to score soon. Well, the stoppage time situation, one minute here. And there it is. The half-time whistle is sounded. No doubt about it, the home fans will be the happier of the two, Stuart. Well, I have to say, their attacking play has been a joy to watch. Their passing has been incisive, the movement's been bright, and they fully deserve their lead. Can they now defend well in the second half? Something they haven't done for much of the season. So off and running again, and there was a real golf in class in the first 45. Will we see an improved effort from West Ham in the second? Paqueta. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Tomasz Sochek. Good work from Bournemouth to win it back. Jefferson Lerma. And here now is Lewis Cook. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Excellent defending. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Aaron Cresswell Antonio well real difficulty keeping the ball oh splendid skill the tackle completely mistimed and you would expect a booking under the circumstances Not messing around with that clearance. Good work from the Hammers to win back possession. And they've given him too much space. Could reduce the deficit. And he does. There is hope for them, despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. West Ham still trailing, but this game very much alive as a contest again. Lewis Cook. In behind for him to chase. 
But it comes to nothing in the end. Offside. Well, he doesn't need to make his movement quite so quickly there. Just let the ball be played into the space. And there to intervene. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Can he finish them off? Well, he probably should have done, but couldn't take advantage of the chance. Well, that's a wasteful finish. I just hope he won't be regretting that come the end of the game. Take it away. So almost at full time, and it hasn't quite gone to plan for the visitors, has it? Stuart, interested to get your take, as always. Well, it's been a tight match, but they haven't done quite enough going forward, in my view. It's all been a bit too predictable. A lot of passing, but not enough penetration. They have to get crosses into the box in these final few minutes if they want to get anything out of this. Lerma, having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. And the flag raised. Offside it is. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Real chance. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. And that will be all for this game. A success story as far as the Cherries are concerned. What did you make of it? Well, all the focus at the start of the game was on them being the worst defence in the league. But their ability up front today certainly took our minds off that. I thought they were positive, they were bright, and they were willing to take chances on the ball. It's a good three points well earned.